price of a rope. Once upon a time, there lived a farmer who had three sons. He treated them equally. But when he died, the two older sons shared the property between themselves and deprived the third boy of everything. So the youngest son, whose name was Nidhi, asked, What about me? Don't I get anything? The two older brothers brought out a length of rope and said, This is all you get. Now be off with it. So Nidhi took the rope and went away. While he was travelling through the forest, he saw a squirrel. He looped his rope round the animal and caught it. In this manner, he captured a rabbit too. Then he built two cages and put the animals into them. Then, tired after all this, he rested on the banks of a lagoon. He sat there and dreamt of the animals he would catch with his rope. He could sell them and make a lot of money. All the while, his hands were plating and replating the rope. Unknown to him, a creature of the lagoon watched him from the murky depths. The creature was a water demon and it sent its son up to find out what the lad was doing. So a young water demon came up and stood before Nidhi. But the lad did not show any sign of fear. The demon asked boorishly, Man, what do you do here? Oh, that, replied Nidhi. I am fashioning a loop with which to encircle and take out the whole lagoon with all the creature in it. The alarmed water demon went back to his father and repeated what Nidhi had said. The senior demon said, Go and propose to compete with him in some games. If he loses, he'll become your slave. So Junior came out of the water and said to Nidhi, I challenge you to climb this tree faster than I can. Nidhi replied carelessly, I'm too busy now, but my brother will take you on. Try and win over him if you can. Junior consented and Nidhi let out the squirrel which scampered up the tree faster than the eye could see. Junior was crestfallen and went back to the senior demon to report his failure. The latter suggested a running race and again Junior stood before Nidhi proposing to run a race with him. Nidhi said airily, Well, I'll let my other brother compete with you. With that, he let out the rabbit which ran like the wind and disappeared from sight in the twinkling of an eye. Feeling very sad, Junior went back to report yet another failure. This time, the water demon instructed its son to challenge Nidhi to a personal combat. When Nidhi heard the proposal, he was frightened. Just then, he saw a bear going that way. Quickly, he pointed out to the bear and said, There is another brother of mine. Go and fight with him first. So the junior demon pounced upon the bear and was badly wounded. Bleeding from every part of his body, he went back and admitted defeat at the hands of Nidhi's small brothers. Then the water demon, thoroughly frightened, sent his son again to Nidhi and asked how much money he wanted to leave them in peace. Nidhi took off his cap and indicated that he wanted it full to the brim. When Junior departed, Nidhi quickly dug a pit in the sand and after tearing off the upper portion of the cap, placed it on the mouth of the pit. When Junior came back with the small bag of gold coins, he emptied it into the cap but everything fell into the pit. Several trips the water demon had to make before the cap could be full. When the water demon finally left, Nidhi tied all the money into a huge bundle and returned to the village, a very wealthy man. His jealous brothers plied him with questions and got the secret out at last. Then they rushed to the lagoon, each with a rope, but they never came back. Presumably, the creature from the black lagoon had gobbled up them.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.